Hey nerds, welcome to Jared Barry X. Today we're going to react to Season 5, Episode 7, a.k.a. Episode V.I.I. of Lucifer, entitled Our Mojo. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there's a reaction. There will be links in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. Jerry will do his best work behind the scenes. We're going to hop into it in just a second. The last episode, Chloe and Lucifer finally getting together as one, morphing their bodies. Two mashed potatoes being formed together to make even bigger mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes and garlic coming together to be wonderful. All the stuff mixing together. Peanut butter and jelly. Anything else you can think of out there. My brain isn't working right now. Uh, regardless, you guys will get this video on January 31st. So this is the last video of the year for Patreon peeps. This is the second to last video of the year, maybe, for the YouTube peeps. I should have one more tonight, and that should be some, uh, some actual... The Power Rangers stuff, the green with evil, episodes one through five all morphed together. It's pun intended. It's giving me some hard times getting uploaded at the time of doing this. But since it is New Year's Eve, it is January 31st. One, thank you guys for an incredible year. YouTube, you guys will get a, a video at some point. I, I do just have to say that since it is New Year's Eve, since it is January 31st when you're watching this, do me a favor and be safe. Okay, be safe tonight. Be safe on New Year's. If you're too drunk to go somewhere, call a cab, okay? Get an Uber, get a Lyft, get a taxi, get whatever it is you got to do. Call your parents, call your friends, doesn't matter. Uh, drink responsibly if you are old enough to drink. If for whatever reason you are underage and you find yourself in that situation, don't be too scared to call your parents, to call a sibling, to call somebody to come get you. There is a number out there that can give you a free ride if you are too intoxicated on New Year's. Trust me, parents, friends, loved ones would much rather you uh, get home drunk than to not get home at all. So there's always that to look at. But enjoy yourself. Have fun. Party. It stopped. The recording just fucking stopped. Uh, I looked over. I had much more on the spiel. I'm glad I looked over and saw that it wasn't recording anymore. This is why I always have to look over here and check. I'm a handful of minutes into the episode. Chloe and Lucifer wake up together. They're in bed. Yada, yada. He copied what I said. Good morning, detective. And then he said it. Of course he would. And then Chloe actually has the mojo to do what he does, ask for people's desires. So he panicked, went and saw Dr. Linda Martin, just thinking that he gave it to everybody he's ever had sex with. She doesn't have the power, but she was wearing a wearable pump. I didn't know that was a thing. I thought it was pretty cool. And now we're coming into what looks like to be a crime scene. All I see is some trees. What I was saying in the closing statement, if you are out on New Year's and you are partying, party, stay home. I've stayed home before. I've done nothing. I've been to bowling alleys. I have went out and actually partied. I have sat here and drank and played Overwatch and called the dude. His name was Omnic Potent. His name was Nick. I couldn't say that. I called him Pickle. He's been my friend on Xbox ever since. Okay. I've had a lot of fun on New Year's. I've stayed up, played Yahtzee with the family, Monopoly. I've just literally stood here and just watched the ball drop. I've been in New York for it. And no matter what it is, Enjoy yourself, drink responsibly, have fun, uh, call a loved one, call a friend, tell people you love them, celebrate the coming of the new year. If you don't like the stuff, you want to go to bed at 10 p.m., go to bed at 10 p.m. If you're going to party by yourself, just remember, celebrate yourself, celebrate what you've done. Small steps towards everything. But anyways, that was my ending spiel. That's what I've missed, that you all missed the reaction to. Nothing wild happened just yet. I'm just going to get back into the damn episode because I don't know what that was. Anyways. I don't know why it stopped. Take her. Hey. Now I gotta keep looking over here. If you're Lucifer, finally get over your issues and under the covers for the old no pants dance. No pants dance. I like that. Aww, I'm so sorry, Decker. You know, sometimes. Wait, I'm sorry. Rewind. Did you hold did up? You say yes? Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Uh -huh. OMG. Oh, I, I was so ready to have my Decker Star dreams crushed again. She said it. Decker star. I just don't like the name. I think I'm in the minority on it. I don't think it's a good ship name. There's better options there. Like loosely. I don't know. So there's, when you think of stuff like a uh, Steriline, you know, and you have these good names together. Why? It's been one bummer after another with you two. I didn't want to get my hopes up. Her last name's Decker. Deck. Decks are made of wood. They could be called morning wood. Yeah, I know. 
Well, that's a fucking great image. Diane Luna. Normski. Normski. What is it you desire? What? <laughs> that's a weird thing to ask, man. A work here. Chloe, did you did you steal his mojo? I think you stole my mojo. <laughs> Never mind. Theft. Hello, Brisbisky. Uh, tell me, apart from a more pronounceable name, what do you desire? Is this about Secret Santa? No, nah, man. They ask people what they want. True, you're supposed to get something. That gives it away. I wish you would have said something like that. Like, what does Saint Nick have to do with this? Or what does he have to do with this? Something to make Santa Claus real in this universe. I couldn't have done this. I spent the whole night in North Ren. Oh, where? Excuse me. My man was up here playing my fucking Wrath of the Lich King. Hey. Shout out. Shout out my man, Arthas Amenadil. <laughs> it's Arthas Menethil, but... Yeah, I had to make the joke. Look at him with the Lich King. Let's go. Northrend. In Azeroth. Azeroth. Ah, Metreon yes. Cintos. Video games? World of Warcraft. I led my guild on a 17-hour campaign last night. So you were home and awake all night. Did you hear anything? It's not really I how WoW well works, but... vocal exercises like every damn night. I just came back here to get some work done. Work? Building more stuff for Charlie? How much does that kid need? I had two rocks when I was growing up. One sharp, one not. That's because your mother was take a piece of shit, but... Try and stab things, take the dull one, try and make it sharp. That, um, that explains a lot. It explains why I'm not a spoiled brat, which is exactly what Charlie's going to become if you keep buying him more toys. This is not a toy, Mace. This is a stimulating educational recreation scape that if you... Exactly what he said. <sighs> a little bit of toys on it, but it helps him. Aside from our vocal training techniques, we can help you prepare for auditions, performances, or for the recording studio. We are accomplished voice technicians and are able to technically assist in a variety of ways. Our vocal coaching sessions focus on enhancing performance, stage presence, and stylistic nuances. Our program famously turns teens into extremely skilled singers. Vocal students learn how to sing effectively through private voice lessons, group rehearsals under the supervision of our expert instructors, and eventually live performances. Singers improve through vocal training, proper warm-ups, and use of microphone techniques as they prepare to perform live on stage. Mario Canales and his family. Members of International Alliance of Theatrical Stage employee Local One in New York City. The vocal coach was worried that Diane would sing to his wife, so he cut her off before she could. Right. Yeah. Right. Let's go talk to Laurie. Oh. 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 Oh my gosh. Pete. Ow, are, are you Pete, okay? you f door. fucking I'm goof sorry. nut. I'm, uh, hi. Sorry. I like I had like a little Nikki face for a second. Need to interrupt you at work. Cash is getting a flash. I can't even get into the voice to do it. Convention. Star Trek's making a come up, bro. It's like back-to-back, -back, not back-to-back -back references, but it's like 553 at this point. Downtown. I, I have no idea if you're into it, but it's totally my... Spider-Man, Star Wars, Star Trek. I was wondering if you wanted to come with me. Star... Come on. But, but Star Trek is your thing. Well... I mean, it looks like it's <laughs> our thing. The 24th century is big enough for the both of us. See? I told you. Sharing's not that hard. <laughs> Sharing is caring, Excuse brother. Me. I'm Detective Decker. We're looking for a Mario Canales. Why would you use this shot for where he's at? Is this behind us? Like, we could have just cut. This is a military gravesite. You can tell by all the white headstones. So this is a military gravesite, and he's just at a regular ass. Graveyard. That's just weird to me. You could have just cut to this. I miss you so much. So damn much, Charlotte. Hey, Dan, have you ever thought about... It's so hard to be a better person. Right. Now you know why? 
you made me believe I could be better too. You can be, bro. Now that you know a minute ago that told you about Charlotte being up in heaven, like that was real. That's where she's at. And I didn't think Lucifer's ever told you he's real too. Come on, brother. And I'm trying. But I always fall short. And now I've seen something. Something that proves just how important it is to get it right. To be good. And the good news is I'm, pr I'm pretty sure this means that you're in heaven, just like Minido said. There we go. Yes, sir. Charlotte Lee Richards. We will always love you. 1978. 2018. She was only 40. Damn, son. <sighs> what a good year 2018 was. Avengers Infinity War and Black Panther. Whew. What a lineup. I need guidance. I need I need I need I need a sign. I need I need something. Help me. Help me. <laughs> Well, I guess now that you know, Michael said, what's up, Brother Bear? Daniel Espinoza, <laughs> your prayers have been answered. <laughs> He's playing on this motherfucker's full-blown emotions right now. Not Lucifer. Look, he did this to me. My twin brother hates me because I am his opposite. The good to his bad. Perhaps you've heard of me. I'm the Archangel Michael. Archangel. The Archangel. That you're struggling. I know that you're afraid of going to hell. But I bring you good news, Daniel. Your redemption is not lost. There is a way for you to right all your wrongs. A way for you to protect your loved ones. Terrible. I disagree. It's like there's a bunch we can do. Lucifer. As fun as it is to watch you use my, I mean, our, but really my mojo. Uh, my man laying here like Shawn Michaels in front of a fireplace with a championship belt over his dingling. He's ready, willing, and able. I'd like it better. Of course not, because now all you are is a lame ass baby daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Don't kiss her. The fuck? Oh, stop. This isn't working! Oh, good. This isn't working. Good. I don't like any of that. I mean, I know Aminadil and Dr. Linda Martin aren't technically together. They're just like co parenting in the same house, which, you know, I kind of wish they were together. Uh, But I just. I was a big shipper for Maze and Amina deal, you know, a Maze -a deal. I was pulling for him, but not now, bro. I want I want Doctor Linda Martin and 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 Amina deal to be together for the sake of their baby. If it works, you don't have to be together because you have a kid with somebody. You know what I'm saying? But like, a Linda deal. What the fuck did Lucifer call him that one time? Amanda, something like it. Isn't working for me. Maze has so much self exploration to figure out within herself. Oh, okay, they're doing the music videos. Like, it's so clearly he's not actually singing. Or maybe he was supposed to be in that moment. You know, I've been thinking, and Linda does have a point. Not gonna do that role. This is no joke. I just think I'm so used to dismissing your crazy antics that I haven't been taking. She's pretty mad that I called you guys. Oh, well, also not a problem. My partner is not a cop. Nope. He has many connections. <laughs> he can grant favors. And obviously Pull this. Is very charmy. Pull this fucking vest over his badge. Swiss Army knife. Would you Aww. please go speak to the lady? He is a little Swiss Army knife. Come on, Saka. 
Madame. These were bought by a middle-aged man. Unfortunately, he paid in cash. But my new friend, Javita, remembers the time he <laughs> came in and that she saw him leaving an Uber. Ooh. Great. Javita got the deeds, Let's baby. Everyone's rejected me. I meant it you. I haven't. But I was the I'd be your friend. You. So, I thought... Try to stab him in his sleep but, but maybe that right before coitus. Yeah, yeah. Maybe... Maybe only an angel could love a soulless demon. No. Ever heard of a demon getting a soul? She'll get one. Don't worry. I'm pretty sure. Again, Lilith's ring has to play has to play a part in it. Or if not, she can just get one. You know. But no one ever heard of an angel and a human having a baby before, or of the devil falling in love. See? Soul is what you need to feel whole. But I do know this. She got a little tear in her eye. If anyone is gonna find what they're looking for, it's you're, you, Masaki. You're a great bounty hunter. Bounty hunt the fuck out of that soul. Dow. Must look at your ass though. I know. <laughs> I know. I love the added in voice lines. Oh my god, the shining. Well, that bodes well. Okay. Well, you're looking for a Les Klumsky. <laughs> oh, shit. Didn't I? Sorry, it's just an unfortunate name. Well, his Uber profile lists Unit 507 as his home. You know, we wouldn't have gotten this without you. I see what you're doing, detective, and you can stop. You don't need to flatter me. But I know you're just trying to help, but I think there's maybe something I need to sort out on my own. That is what I desire. Oh. 507. Shall we? Hold on. We got the warrant. Go ahead, let's get this bastard. All right. Back him! She pulled that flashlight out smooth as shit, son. Woo! No, that room smell like I don't even know, bro. Butterfingers and raisins. I got nothing. About thirty-five dollars for them flowers, bro. About thirty-four and some change. They paid forty bucks in cash. That's what it looks like. Payment was forty dollars. I actually says zero zero. Change due five dollars twenty-nine. Couldn't get the actual numbers on that. Oh no. He's wearing a red shirt. Look at the wallpaper. And the carpet, does it ring, ring a, bell? a bell? She lives in this apartment building. On the ninth floor. Lucifer, let's go. Hey, y'all better get the fucking hucking and chucking and bucking and lucking and get the fuck up there and save this lady's life. Do not lie. What is the price for your blind eye? Ow, see, motherfucker got cut. Oh, needle. See what I'm saying? How does it feel to be powerless? Uh, choke him harder. Choke him harder. He's looking up and behind you. Oh! You shoot him in the neck. What the fuck did she do? She do like a roll or something? Huh? We got him. You shot him in the neck. We did it, Lucifer. That brother playing a game of Veggie Tales right now. Hey, Chloe, you should like leave the premises. Oh, he's he's getting better. All right, never mind. 
has already come up with a catchy nickname for him. It better be catchy. Apparently after your vocal cords have been cut, you're still able to whisper, so she wants to call him the Whisper Killer. Sounds a little sinister than Les Klumpski. I, I just hate contributing call him the to whisper. the kind of BS that Dog whisper. feeds these guys' egos. Hey, you know what? This is your piece. You write this however you want. That's right, yeah. Petey. Duh. Hey, Decker, yeah. will you sign off on these evidence logs? Of course. So if I did anything wrong, just tell me. Wrong? No, man. The contrary. Yeah. It appears that you're doing everything right, at least when it comes to Miss Lopez. I guess we made a pretty good team today. Well, there's that. And the fact that you enjoy sharing, which boggles the mind. <laughs> Besides, it appears that you empower each other. Yeah. It's, it's a good choice of words. Kind of scary. Scary? Yeah, because, like, you ever get the feeling you're not good enough for someone? <laughs> okay, I guess a guy like you wouldn't, but <laughs> for me, I'm terrified. Nah, Pete, you're a good-looking dude. Figured, deciding if I'm good enough or not, yeah. that's not up to me. I mean, that's up to her. All facts, no so, printer. All I can do is open up and let her in and then let me in for herself right right okay pete you wholesome boy i'll talk about him once the episode's over it's a lovely evening outside oh well, yeah take a step outside on the balcony I would love a high up balcony like that. I think it'd be pretty cool. It'd suck if there was a goddamn earthquake or something, but. Me. I sometimes forget how strong you are. Just put a tiny dent in the giant wall that you erected around yourself. Erect it. Don't say it. Don't do it. I think perhaps for the first time ever, you're starting to open up to me to let me in. Let her in. Right. Let her get in there, brother. Let her get in them I cheeks. A little bit. Look at her, bro. Hand on. Let's see you try and get up there on that booty meat cheek. Is he worried about the fact that he dropped his guard a little bit? Here comes Michael or Daniel, one of them. That was fast. Put it down. Sorry, I have to. Damn, Danny done shot that motherfucker in his. I think he shot him in the brain meat, chest meat, one of the meat somewhere in that body. Damn, son. Danny done got influenced by old Michael boy. The Archangel Michael has now manipulated our young, impressionable Daniel, trying to look for his way out in this world, out there talking to Charlotte Richards' grave, even though they showed a B-roll of a military grave. Out there talking to old Charlotte, Michael rolls up and influences this man to come do the dirty damn deed. To come do the deed, son. And what deed is that, you may ask? Motherfucker, that just... He just shot Lucy, who's vulnerable. His guard is down. What are you saying? He's, he's, his guard's down. And just like that. What happens now? Does that kill him? Does he take a second? Does he kick back up? Guess we'll have to figure out what happens in episode eight. Pete is the person I want to talk about here. Pete is a, a really nice, wholesome boy, and I hope... He remains nice and wholesome, and there isn't some underlying scheming plot and fucking bullshit that makes him a bad guy. Ella deserves this. Let Ella have it. May's trying to seduce Lucifer. Or, I'm sorry, trying to seduce him in a deal. Almost worked. Uh, Chloe. I can't get people's names right. Just dropped everything over here. Dr. Linda Martin didn't really care about that, but like she said, there'll need less and less of us. Uh, maybe less time of them being around each other, less of the kid obviously needing their parents. That's just, that's how life is. We'll see how Minadil takes that. And that's really it. I wonder if there's more left to this murder. 
because that guy was pretty confident getting away from that. I wonder if we'll come back around to it or not. But Dan does learn the truth about Lucifer in the last episode, and now with Michael on his side, is persuading him to go out here and do some buck wild shit. I like that they had their mojo stuff there for a second. You know, they're he doesn't have his mojo, but she can mojo him. I enjoy it. And I hope Maze eventually gets her soul and she eventually figures out what it is she's looking for. And I hope eventually Eve comes back. I would like that as well. As a shocking side effect of his romance with Chloe throws Lucifer for a loop, the new couple pursues a murderer with an unusual M.O. Huh. I like it. I like Pete and Elle together a lot. I do like Minadil and Maze together, to be honest. I, I do enjoy those two together. Obviously, Lucifer and Chloe. I like Lucifer speaking all the languages, making friends with Jovita. I love the Shining reference. I thought that was great. I like that Pete and Ella was able to help find a clue together. I thought that was pretty cool. And they were just able to save the day. Or did they? I hope there's more to it. I, I've kind of been wanting... Chloe, I think would be really cool. That... Uh, shit, I thought that was muted. I'm just going back through the episode real quick. I think what would be really cool is if... What would be really cool is if they had a mystery like the Sinner Man that lasted the entire season. Right? No, don't. Just resume. Stop. I got too much audio going everywhere. And it was like reoccurring over each and every episode. I think that'd be really nice. I think I like that a lot. Language, nudity, smoking, substances, TV 14. Not that much nudity. I'm not seeing any of the good bits. Just devil nipples. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's really the whole episode. Like, not a whole lot happened, but a lot happened, if that makes sense. A really solid episode, but... Hmm. God, I want to see what's next. But I got other shit to do tonight. All right. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. I enjoyed it at... I don't really know where the season's going to go. I got nothing so far. They're just building their relationship closer. Every time it gets too close, it gets pulled apart. And obviously, we still have the looming threat of Michael really at any point. I think that is the big thing is with no more warden needed of hell, like that's just fine. We still have to deal with Michael. I think Lucifer should send Michael to hell. I think that'd be pretty cool. But for now, Season 5, Episode 7, a.k.a. Episode VII, entitled Our Mojo, Season 5, episode 8 is entitled, Spoiler Alert. Oh, brother. Anyways. That's it. Links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I'll catch you on the next one.